in the football fever tonight at the 14th annual second and seven foundation football camp. There are life lessons doled out every day in Hilliard and as ABC 6's Clay Hall reports, those lessons are not just for the little kids anymore. It's a competition all day, baby, all day. The camp has outgrown its humble beginnings when three former Buckeyes found a calling. Well, when we first we started with 55 kids in a park in Westerville and uh, wasn't much there, wasn't much to be proud of. The football camp is the largest fundraiser for the nonprofit Second and Seven, which takes books into elementary schools to fight illiteracy. It really is what makes us be able to give away so many books um, throughout the entire school year. Our first love might be football, but you can't do it without the other things. And uh, the, the, the academic side of things is going to take you a lot further than some of these football things. Though the camp serves ages 8 through 14, some current Buckeye players are coaching getting their good, own you know? education and in the winning. process. And they got to be good guys because we want the kids to, to have fun with these players. And uh, so they're, they're, they're special if they're out here. It's really important to me because I want the coaches to understand, like I want the coaches to see that I am a good person. It means a lot to me that they would trust me to be out here with these kids and to be a good influence on them and to lead them and stuff like that. They'll inherently take something away from this, like thinking to themselves years from now, maybe I, what am I doing? It's just really good to see these older guys st yet still giving back. They've been through it all, been to the top of the top, and yet they're still coming out for their community doing more and more. In Hilliard, I'm Clay Hall for The Football Fever.